Hey, how you doing? John Henry here, uh, entrepreneur, former VC, and now venture-backed entrepreneur. We've been really lucky at my latest company, Loop, to raise uh, over $25 million in just nine months. And I want to share with you guys the absolute must-have tips and tricks to raise venture capital for your startup. Now, you may have seen my first video, how to raise a million dollars for your startup um, that I'm throwing up right here. In this video, I summed up the foundational steps that you absolutely must have to run a process, to go find venture investors and so on. Number one, now this is something that is not gonna work for everybody, but I personally recommend it. This is a style of operating and that is build in public. A lot of people are in stealth mode, but I find that being in stealth mode, i.e. you don't tell anybody about what you're doing, is really just doing a giant disservice to your business because you're not leveraging the random synchronicity that can happen when you tell people about your business, that tell people, that tell people. What do I mean by building a public? I mean sharing when you have an update, some good news, when you made a hire, when you close a deal, you have a partnership. You can decide how much you share or not, but one of the ways that we got our Series A round, which came in at $21 million, and I think it's one of the largest Series A rounds ever raised by a founder of color, one of the ways that it got done in five days is when we spoke to investors, they already had context on what we were building and how it was going. So the conversation was way less about, tell me what you're doing. And it was a lot more about, hey, I've seen what you're doing. I love what you're doing. Let's dive deeper. Tip number two, um, I touched on this in the first video. I'm gonna double click on it in this video. And that is, you must have a killer deck. The more decks I see, the more I realize that you are just being judged instantly based on your deck. So you don't even have a chance at securing the bag if your uh, deck looks like trash. If it's got a ton of words, trash. If it's got a ton of pictures but no graphs, trash. If it has uh, a certain feel, trash. Uh, you, you need to make sure that you are looking and feeling and smelling like a new age venture capital uh, company learn what a venture deck feels like. It typically has one key sentence that frames the idea up top. It doesn't use pictures, it uses graphs to communicate business logic. Um, and, and then you don't typically have a bunch of supporting words every fucking where. It's, it's impossible to, to read, to focus on. I wouldn't read it. You probably wouldn't read it either. Number three, this is gonna be very counterintuitive very counterintuitive, but you are not raising nearly enough money. Now, here's why this is counterintuitive. If it's your first time raising money, you might opt on the, uh, you might err on the side of raising less because you've never done it, it's scary, you don't wanna set yourself up for failure, so you're gonna raise a small round. But here's what you don't know. When you raise a small round, you are limiting the total amount of people that can fund you by about 50%. So immediately, about half of the entire market that could write you a check is out the window. Here's why. Most funds have a minimum check size that they need um, and they have a certain t uh, percentage of your company that they're trying to buy. So when you put those two things together, a lot of funds have a minimum check size of a million dollars. Most of you guys are trying to raise a million dollars all in. So. If their minimum check size is a million dollars, but they only they don't want to be the only person in the party, they're not going to fund your entire round. So if you tell them, hey, I'm raising a million dollars, and they say, hey, that's our minimum, you've already shot yourself in the foot, and they can't be an investor for you simply based on the size of your round. So I know it feels scary, but if you actually double or even triple the size of your round, you will have a much, much better and wider pool of funds, syndicates, and investors that um, would be potentially interested in writing a check for you. The other side of that is that bigger rounds signal more confidence. You know, what the hell are you gonna go do with half a million dollars these days? It's just not enough money. 
Um, but a seed round of two and a half million dollars makes me think that you believe in your mission and that you're swinging big. So it's atypical business logic, but this is the game of venture that we're in. And it's just the reality that this game uh, disproportionately rewards people that are swinging for home runs. This is not the sport for a fucking RBI single. So if that's you, then venture ain't for you. Or you just need to reframe your thinking and at the minimum try and go for a triple, but at bare minimum, try and hit it over the park and clear the fucking you know, green monster at Fenway. Then you're speaking a VC's language. Those are my updates to uh, how to raise venture capital for your startup. In our case, it helped us close $25 million of funding in nine months. Um, and if you follow these tips and the tips in the first part, then you'll be well on your way. And if you have any questions, please do let me know. I actually peruse and actively engage with the comments. Let me know, like, comment, subscribe for more videos just like this, and we'll see you at the next one.